this friend who's looking for a nanny because her husband's got a job in Paris. Twelve month contract. And she thought you'd be interested. Well, yeah, of course I would be. You're in Paris. And you won't mind being away from home for that long? Well, it doesn't really make much difference. Can't take it. Not while the investigation's going on. Oh, yeah, of course. But how often do chances like that come along? Still, there's some compensation in being right there, isn't there? Are you? You look pretty pleased with yourself. Well, I'm just thinking about how much fun I'm going to have tonight. Oh, found something on the top shelf, have you? No, she's real and she's gorgeous. And short-sighted, presumably. Why do you care, anyway? Anyway, I hope you have a good night. Yeah, I intend to. Come on. Hello, ladies. Ashley, you don't know how good it is to see you. You're the first bit of excitement we've had all day. Oh, who wants an orange juice, a cheese sandwich and a favour? Mm, well, I'll get the cheese sandwich. Do you want me to babysit? Uh, no, 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 that's all organised. Um, I know it's short notice, but do you remember the Young Farmer's Harvest dinner dance we went to last year? How could I forget, after what they did into the punch bowl? Yes, yes, that was rather gross. The answer's no. You don't know the question. You're going to ask me to go with you again? It's tonight. And I wouldn't go, only I'm honorary president. They expect me to say grace. No, I'm sorry, Pet, if you want help, you'll have to ask your boss. Mm -hmm. There are a couple of other people I could try, um... Sorry, I, I haven't got time for that sandwich. Good luck. Hey, what do I owe you? Oh, it's on the house. It leaves my guilty conscience. You can put the cheddar away. Ashley's had to dash off. What for? He's gone in search of a woman. On an empty stomach? It's urgent. He needs one tonight. So what kind of a favour was he after in there? And that's where you come in. I'm sorry? I think you might be able to satisfy his needs. Diane, what are you talking about? He's got to go to a young farmer's do tonight and he's looking for a partner. Oh, farmers. There's nothing wrong with farmers, you can take it from me. They're very lively. It's all that fresh air and physical exertion. <laughs> Why don't you go? I went last year and I thought with you saying you were bored, you might enjoy it. I suppose I might. There'll be some fit-looking lads there. Young, owned. You might meet the man of your dreams. At the very least, you can enjoy looking. So I go with Ashley, but I spend the whole evening eyeing up other blokes. He won't mind as long as you're there. Trust me. I have to check my diary. No, Look at me. <laughs> I've always wanted to be headline news. <laughs> the new face of shift bleach Vivian Ho. Oh. Yeah, people who know me will think it's a misprint. <laughs> and Viv will never know, cos she'll be safely stowed and eyeing up a purse of <laughs> Oh, lucky woman. <laughs> There's something very invigorating about sea air in a bit of a swell. Oh, it's like a dream come true. Me, Laurel Potts, in the limelight at last. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I'll send one to Mum and Dad. What do you think about it? Oh, yes, love. Why not? They're going to be ever so proud of me. <laughs> Get another copy. <laughs> I'm not being nasty, but it's not like she's rescued a kitten that climbed Everest, is it? Oh, no, she just wants him to take a bit of notice of her, that's all. Poor little love. Oh, Leonard, come and join us. Oh, um, I was looking for Scott, but I can see he's not here, so I'd best be off. Well, you can spare five minutes, surely, to goodness. Uh, a bit of a problem at the garage. John, you were back at work. We're waiting for Laurel. I got two, so I could give one to Caroline as well. I told you I'd make you look glamorous. Yeah. I might get it framed. With a toilet seat on your head? Oh, no, no, that would be a bit tacky. <laughs> huh. I was on uh, a very... Hey, it's me. Oh, hi there. Are you busy? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll have a good think about that and I will call you back. OK? What are you on about? Mum? Listen, I'm sorry, love, I was in the middle of something. I'm really bored. I thought you might have some jobs I could do for you. Oh, I've got a meeting at the Haulage office. Oh, forget it then. No, no, listen, I'd like to see you, so I'll tell you what, I'll pick you up on way, right? And then afterwards, I don't know, we could go into Hotton. Go to pictures, what do you reckon? That's all right. Of course it is. I'll see you in about an hour. Bye. I didn't hear you come back in. Is this how you combine business and motherhood? 
by taking your daughter to an important meeting. She won't be in the meeting. She can wait in car. While you rush through it so you don't miss the start of the film. I wouldn't do that, and you know it. Do I? Chris, I care about this business as much as you do, and I won't let Debbie get in the way of that, all right? It seems to me you already have. Come on, then. In we go. You hold on to bed. That's it. You know, oh, Ash, you're just in time for a cup of tea. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, and how's my favourite granddaughter? Yeah, she's fine, aren't you, sweetheart? There we go. I take it you've had no luck for tonight? Uh, I'm afraid not. It looks like I'll be going on my own. Cinders? Will I do? She's Australian. She can talk about sheep. And I've got a hat with diamond corks. I'd be delighted if you came with me. You'll do wonders for my street cred. Yeah, well, I haven't been out for ages, and Diane told me what a great night it is. Has she? It'll be a night to remember, won't it, Ashley? That's one way of putting it. <laughs> so I'll just ring George Clooney and tell him I'm busy. What exactly has Diane told you? I told her it was lively. Yes, it is, very. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Sorry, I'm uh, not quite ready yet. That's OK. I'm early. Well, I'm glad you could make it. I wanted to see you again as soon as possible. Yeah, well, that makes two of us. So what do you fancy doing? Well, I was going to ask you that. Club in Hotton? Well, how about a drink over the road first? In that poxy little pub. It's all right. I don't really want to bump into Sid. Well, we'll go for one drink there and there, and then we'll go out of town. Go on, then. Get yourself ready. What have you done? She fell off a bike. Oh, you all right, love? She's had a nasty bang on her mouth. Ow! Oh. Sorry, lovey. Does it hurt a lot? A bit, but I feel better now you're here. She needs oh. to go to casualty. He's right. Somebody should see it. I've got that meeting. All right, and that's more important than your own daughter. I'll be all right. No, I'll take you. No! No, it's all right. I'll ring Chris. I'll cancel it. All right. I love that, won't you? Look, I don't care which of you does it, but will one of you do some it? Right. Chris Tennant. Chris, it's me. Uh, I'm going to have to pull out this meeting. What? Debbie has had an accident, right? I'm going to have to take her to hospital. Well, what's the matter with her? She's fallen off a bike. She banged her mouth. Well, that's hardly life-threatening. Well, look, just phone him up, explain what's happened, and tell him I will meet him in the morning. He will be at the office by now. Can't Lisa take her? No. I'm going to take her now. So I'll have the meeting tomorrow and I'll get that contract, right? So you know what to worry about. <sighs> You're as bad as Paul, are you? Right pair of sleepyheads. That's why I'm getting up at five o'clock this way. What's your excuse? Same. Work. Busy time of year. You're not complaining, are you? I think I might have took too much on. Well, that's building trade, isn't it? Feast or famine. That's something you noticed on your rounds? No, personal experience. I want to chip in another life. Yeah. I never knew that. Well, why should you? You've only seen me to live in letters. Well, if you'd be interested, I might be able to put a bit of work your way. Kitchen job. Oh, could probably fit it in, yeah. Great. I'll get back to you on that. Cheers, Dan. I'll have a pint, please, Diane. And, uh... Vodka tonic, please. Nice to see you again, Pet. What? Yeah. That last must be doing the rounds. Last time she was in here, she was with Sid. Wearing a coat and not much else. I'm sorry I missed that. Damn boy, you're a married man. I don't really fancy this. Not with them, either. Oh, I'll turn to not be them. It's a bit difficult in a place like this. Well, I'm not going to let them drive us out. We'll have one drink here, like we agreed, and then we'll go. OK. Anyway, they probably won't stay long. She can't handle the competition. <laughs> What's he trying to do? Make me jealous? You're not, though. Are you? Are there? You aren't joking. Good. You must be desperate. Just ignore him. I know why he's brought her here. To get back at me. Does it matter? No. Of course not. Come here. Do you fancy coming in for a nice cup of tea, Pearl? Oh, I don't mind if I do talk. I uh, won't ask you, Mrs Blackstock, <laughs> because I know you don't like socialising with the workers. 
You've got the wrong person. Don't you mean our new supermodel here? Well, will you shush, Nicola? You know what's not going on about it all day. Well, neither of you. You're so flushed with success. You're not funny, you know. She's done better than you ever would. They wouldn't let you near a bottle of bleach on health and safety reasons. What are you on about? Well, it kills germs, doesn't it? <laughs> well, that told her. You've earned a piece of Becky's chocolate sponge. <laughs> Come on, I'll put kettle on. Um, on second thoughts, I think I'll pop into the calf. What for? Well, Leonard might be there. So? I think he might be avoiding me. Oh, he'll be at home looking after Ollie. She gets the results tomorrow, Betty. Well, I'll soon find out, won't I? And the same man-eaters live in Borneo. Oh, dear. <laughs> as soon as I walked in the club, I noticed you. I should hope you did. I wear a wrapped round a pole wearing a G-string. You're a great dancer. I know. I was kind of up for a bit of a private performance later on. You might. But I could do with another drink. Get me in the mood. You're on. What are you staring at? Take no notice of her. Like I care. Look, should we just go? No way. Ready for another? Hiya. You look like you're enjoying yourself. No, I'm having a great time. And you, my son, need your head tested. <laughs> Why? Yolanda, you must have been mad to finish with her. Yeah, well, she's going out with you now, isn't she? So we're all happy. As long as you don't mind one of my cast-offs. What did you just say? I was talking to Sid. A cast-off? Yeah, well, that's one way of describing you. And how would you describe her? Slap her? Tart? I wouldn't go there if I were you. Ooh, it speaks. It does a lot more than speak, darling. And we all know what. Look, can we just cool it, ladies? Looks like you found someone on your own level, Scott. And what level's that? Oh, yes, someone with a brain. Hey. Oh, taking your kill for a living. How cool is that, eh? Oh, it beats bouncing babies on the kitchen floor. Kidder. I'm warning you, any trouble and you're out. It's all right, we're going. Come on, babe. Not with him, are you? Oh, what's it to you? You should choose your boyfriends more carefully. <laughs> Get lost. from a bit of bruising. Oh, thank goodness. And I'm going to have to take her to the dentist tomorrow. They reckon she's chipped a couple of teeth. Mm, I bet you'll need falsons. Oh, get lost. What, you'll be able to put me in a mug by your bed? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's when I laugh. Oh, that'll be Ubi. Checking up on her. For your information, it's the client that I was supposed to see earlier. And you're not answering it? <laughs> you are honoured. Stop trying to pick a fight, Kane. I'm not. I'm impressed watching such a successful businesswoman at work. Take no notice, lovey. Now, can I get you a drink or something? No, thanks. How about you, Charity, love? I'm putting the kettle on. No, Tarly, it's about to get going. And do what you say out. <laughs> Me? See you tomorrow, babe. Unless something more important comes up. Kane, get stuffed. <sighs> you all right? Another drink would be nice. Sure. I didn't mind if been hot on a miss. I can go there any time. You're not going to back, aren't you? Like I said, <laughs> helps to get me in the mood. Oh, there's another bottle in the cupboard. Good. Right. <laughs> For a moment back there, I thought you were going to give Chloe a smack. Yeah? Yeah, look on her face. No matter what she says, she can't accept this over. I didn't come here to talk about your ex. I take it she's not on life support. She banged her face, Chris. She was shaken up. It's quite a shock to her, actually. But she's all right. Yeah, she is. Thank goodness. You better hope that haulage contract survives as well. It will. Rearrange your meeting for ten o'clock. Ten? Is that a problem? No. Got to take Debbie to the dentist at nine. But no, that's that's fine. That's okay. 
The dentist. A couple of her teeth got damaged. Oh, for God's sake. Look, Chris, I'm going to take my files to bed so that I'll be up to speed. And I'll be there at ten, and I will handle it. So, like I said before, you've got now to worry about. <sighs> what? Mm. Thought it was my dad, didn't you? Oh, all right, Debbie. I've just borrowed his phone. Well, what sort? Are you all right? Yeah, I just want to say thanks for taking me to the hospital today. Well, that's all right, darling. Look, try and get a good night's kip and I'll see you in the morning, right? Right. Night, Mum. Night, sweetheart. Leonard. Ah, Pearl. <laughs> hey, don't drink so fast. You'll choke yourself. I was a bit thirsty. I called at your house. All you told me you were here. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd give her and Danny a bit of time on their own. She said you were getting on their nerves. She never did. You're more concerned about these results than she is, aren't you? I just wanted to do well, that's all. You should have come to me. I could have sued your fevered brow. <laughs> I, I never thought. Because <laughs> you're ignoring me. No, what give you that idea? I'm not daft. I know what you're doing and why. Look, I'd love to stop and chat, but I'd best be off here. Aren't you going to buy me a drink? <sighs> um, another time, maybe, yeah. OK. See ya. Uh -huh. Here we go. What's the matter? Nothing. Well, you didn't push me away in the pub. You're just going to sit here soaking? You heard what she said to me. Well, you shouldn't have started rowing with her. So it's my fault? No. We should just have ignored her. OK, Scott was trying to wind us up, but well, you knew he'd start seeing someone sooner or later. I don't care about Scott. Is it going to be like this every time you see him with someone else? No. I know you need time to get over him. And I know you're not quite ready for another serious relationship just yet, but well, I'm not just going to sit there like a lemon while you and him play games with each other. I'd never go back with him. Even if he begged me. Not after what happened with Zoe. Yeah, you say that. I won't. Look, I know I overreacted in the pub, but Scott's only part of it. Why, well, what else is the problem? Well, that job in Paris. I'd have loved that, but I can't do it. And there's all the police stuff hanging over me. My life feels like a mess, it just gets me down. Yeah, I know. Look, I'm sorry. No, no need to apologise. Come on. Why are you sure you want it? Make me feel better. What are you doing? What's it look like? Are you going? Yeah. All right, well, you don't have to, you know. You can stay the night. No, thanks. Oh, well, do you want to borrow a shirt? Uh, it's all right. Well, at least let me order you a cab. <laughs> There's no need. Well, I'll uh, be in touch then. <laughs> He proposed to you. Yeah, he got down on his knee the whole bit and then he spoiled it all by throwing up. Oh, no. <laughs> Take it, you had a good time then. It was lively. You've got a lot to answer for, Diane Blackstock. I don't know what you mean. Louise was a big hit. <sighs> well, that teenage testosterone, you think they'd never seen a woman before? You said you wanted a bit of male attention. Having 50 pairs of eyes permanently fixed on my cleavage was not quite what I had in mind. I'm sorry about that, but if it's any consolation, I've now got quite a sore arm. Why? What happened to you? <laughs> they kept nudging me and saying, nice one, Rev. Mm, <laughs> don't expect any sympathy from me. I don't mind. At least I don't think I'm gay anymore. What? <laughs> I'm a vicar and I'm not married, and in their slightly limited worldview, that meant I was gay. But then I turned up with Louise. Hang on a minute. I went with you last year. Uh, that was different. 
I don't see why. I might not be as well upholstered as Louise, but I'm a woman. Yes, but I think they thought you were my mother. Ashley Thomas, out now. Right, right, don't worry. I'm going, I'm going now. Thank you again, Louise. Bye, you owe me. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry, but if I'd warned you, you wouldn't have gone. It's OK. It wasn't so bad. Besides, they weren't all 17. And a couple of them were quite cute. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, I'm coming! Oh, what do you want? I thought you'd remember me. This is Detective Sergeant Pugh. What are you doing here? What's happened? Scott Windsor, I'm arresting you on suspicion of rape. Oh, no, please. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. How many times do I have to tell you I didn't rape Zoe Tate? That's not why we're here, son. The allegation's been made by Miss Yolanda Howie. What? Still can't believe he's going out with her. Mm. We're not going to talk about Scott anymore. As far as you're concerned, he's history. Well, there must be some kind of mistake. We'd like you to come with us to the station and answer a few questions. You don't understand. I was with Yolanda, yeah, but we were on a date. And we'll need the clothes you're wearing tonight. All of them. Oh, come on! This has got to be some kind of joke! And what are they doing here? We've got a warrant to search this place. What for? Go. One of yours? Look, I've told you. I was with Yolanda. We had a date, we had a couple of drinks at the pub and we came back here. Yes, we had sex, but it wasn't rape. She was up for it. You're under caution, remember. Save it for your statement, son. Oh, this is ridiculous! Get dressed. Quick as you can, eh? Come in with us. <laughs> 